Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 6 and we are just getting started with this chapter and we are covering two topics of this particular chapter in this tutorial that is 6.1 introduction which is negligible as a part of the syllabus and 6.2 keyboard driven automation which is uh, somewhat we have understood in the foundation level. You can quickly look up the card and go back to the foundation tutorial to just understand the basics. So in, as a part of introduction, we are just trying to recall the understanding on the test tools and the automation benefits and risk involved in using a test tool. So from the foundation, we have already understood a lot many more things about uh, test tools that what are the different test tools available, how test tool adds values to your testing and project, what are the different benefits and uh, risk associated with making use of a tool, how do you select a tool for the organization, what is a pilot project and what is the success factor of using a tool and other things. Now further if you talk about the you know details of this we have got keyword driven automation here which is again in the foundation we have learned a bit about it with respect to data driven testing and keyword driven testing as an automation framework. So here we are trying to understand a topic altogether about keyword driven automation which is generally created to drive a test with help of certain keywords or action words. Now generally this is used in case of regression testing where we have a lot of test cases or generally a suite comprising of a lot of test cases but we want to run hand-picked random test cases that means we want to only call those test cases which are required to be executed after certain upgrades or certain updates in an existing environment or existing application. Now when it comes to keyword driven you basically allocate each test case with a unique keyword that could be any kind of action word for example uh, input form or action like cancel order place an order or uh, you know itinerary in query or any such thing you can just name it however you want but make sure that each test case in the entire suite has a unique keyword and that keyword will be identified or called in your uh, main function when you run your keyword driven automation so if you're working in automation you understand what I'm talking about but if you're new to it uh, just follow the you know instruction here during the tutorial that would just help you to understand that for this you don't really have to have a you know very good automation skill set but by the time you reach the understanding of the test analyst you would have already worked with automation to a certain extent but if you are a manual tester don't worry really worry about it all you need to know is what we are talking about so each keyword will be uniquely identified and based on that your test script will call only those test cases which you want to run. But of course it requires a big framework to be written, uh, calling out the structures, calling out the different functions by using the keyword from the test suite. So to understand that you can quickly look into any of the tutorial of keyword driven automation which will give you an idea that what exactly it is all about. But more to add to this we have got certain advantages of keyword driven test automation like keyword that relate to particular application or business domain can be defined by domain expert. So here we are talking about the test analyst who should be very well uh, uh, expert in terms of determining what keywords to be used which should be as per the standards and naming conventions of the project or organization level. Next, a person with primarily domain expertise can benefit from automatic test cases execution without having to understand the underlying automation code of course so these two are two independent things your test case could be secured in different manner but when it comes to automation framework you can just call those keywords so that is where we enhance the reusability clause of test automation using a modular writing technique enables efficient maintenance by of test cases by the test automation engineer when changes to the functionality and the interface to the software test a software under test occur so it, it basically comes as a part of the maintenance where definitely things are maintained for a long time even if you know about automation a bit you understand that it is a reusability feature is there with respect to automation that you write the script once for all and whenever required you can run it more often repeatedly and many other factors so that's where maintenance part comes into picture and it's going to be more efficient if you have declared your test cases while writing it with certain keywords which can be also used tomorrow or later in keyword driven testing 
test case specifications are independent of their implementation. Of course, that's nothing to explain all about. It is independent. Further to add more to this, uh, test analyst is obviously the main person or key person to implement the keyword-driven testing. So the test analyst must understand about what exactly is required, what kind of keyword should be mentioned so that it can be understood by the team and could be you know, defined and understood with help of the test automator, the one who is writing the test script. And uh, you should be also capable of translating the business process keywords and lower level actions into the automated test script. At the same time, keyword-driven automation is usually run during system testing when you have the entire application with you because a function could be for one module and several different functions are called together in keyword-driven testing. Whereas code development may start as early as test design in an iterative environment, particularly when continuous integration or continuous deployment are used, the test automation development is also a continuous process. So as you integrate, you need an automation test to do that same thing. So it is continuous process for the automation development as well. Further, once the input keyword and the data are created, the test analyst assumes responsibility to execute the keyword-driven test cases and to analyze any failures that may occur. So that's generic. When an anomaly is detected, the test analyst should assist in investigating the cause of the failure to determine if the defect is with the keyword, the input data, the automation script itself, or with the application being tested. So that's more responsibility, important responsibility for the test analyst at this point of time. That no matter when you do a testing, of course, you would find a discrepancy or any kind of anomaly during the execution. But it is really important for an analyst to understand that what is the problem with? Is it with the keyword which we were calling and it was having a mismatch because you had a keyword like action and there was something else written there in the program or the test script? or the input data which you were passing from the script to the application and the application does not allow that data so it could be a mismatch there or the script control flow that means you might have a syntax error with your automation script or the application finally that could be called as a defect at all together so that's all is what we have from this particular tutorial team should you have any query feel free to comment below i'll be there to address you uh, at any point of time so Meanwhile, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.